just thought I'd show you that, you know, I just, I do like a few rough sketches when I'm working out my paintings. And I use, also will use my own photograph. So, now with this series I was at the Butterfly, Australian Butterfly Sanctuary and I took lots of photos. And I cropped them and look at things up close. This is the start of my uh, larger piece. Um, I did some small tests on some smaller boards here, yeah, which I'm really pleased with. Um, just, these are the paints that I'm going to be using. Now I've mixed, I've mixed up some of my own colours using pure pigment and um, so acry acrylic mediums to smooth them into a paste and then I beat them with a paint beater. And I'm also using the Atelier Free Flow Paints and Resi Tint, Resi Tints and, and you know any sort of paints that I've got left I actually use. And I also really like this Solid Solutions Dynamic Paste for my base layers. It does some amazing glazing. Here goes nothing, I've mixed up all my colours to do this quick. A little bit of pure resin left just because. And I put mostly black. happening in there. So this is it's going to be like a, a butterfly, well an abstract butterfly wing. Okay I'm just starting the next step large painting. So the resin has dried. Um, I actually have put another layer of clear resin on top. So I built a wall and I put another layer of clear resin. So now I'm into the acrylic pour uh, part of my painting. And these are my colours that I've mixed up. Now I've used a, vari a, a variety of different paints. I've used these sometimes some flow paints but actually mainly mainly I have used some of these pig, pigment paints so pure pigment and then I have mixed them with the golden 100 and and then I, I mix them up the paints up in other containers and then I've poured some of them into these cups and I've used uh, about half half pig, half paint to half liquitex um, I'm not putting any silicon oil in in this. I don't want to have too many too many cells. There's already a lot of cells already happening in the resin, and I'm also using some gold pigment. Thank 
Just show, just show you what I did close up. So I just used a paddle pop stick and cotton bud. And see how it's sort of raised up. I've left, left bits of the resin, little windows of the resin coming through. The bits I really like. And I will be doing some more. Really lovely. Okay, I just did a little bit more. This is just on the same level, layer as acrylic paint layer. Um, I just a little bit more with the gold. So that's gold pigment, and I put in fluorotrol because it, it it works better in fluorotrol. Just added a little bit more, just a bit more on the top. I'm going to do a layer of clear resin um, because I don't think that it's a good idea to go on top. I did there, but there's a there's a risk that it might cr might crack. So I'm I, I don't mind putting the paint around what I've already done, but I think you're better off doing another layer. Okay, I did a bit more work with the gold gold pigment and fluorotrol. Now I'm going to Put a little bit of this is this is variegated variegated gold leaf. I got that's beautiful. I got this from England. Got it sent from England. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in a few spots. This is the adhesive, and just mix. Make sure you mix it well. I'm just going to do a little circle. Just here. So wherever you put the glue, that's where the gold leaf, the gold leaf will stick. of art resin and I'm going to do, I haven't done a layer of resin yet, this is just acrylic pores and I did the gold leaf. I'm going to do, just do some small pools just to save, save a bit on resin, doing multiple layers of resin. I'm just going to do a few pools of resin and some colour in it.
just doing a few little ribbon pours to harmonise it a bit, knock back the black. Finishing your resin work is important too to get a really nice edge, a nice smooth rounded corner before you put your final resin on. So always use a mask, use a mask because resin dust will get into your lungs. And I've just got a, a, sand, a sander, you can also use an electric sander, I, I might use it on a few tough bits I'll use an electric sander and you just This is uh, how it looks after you've sanded it. I need to do a lot more sanding just in a few spots. And it should be completely flat, so there should be no lip lip there. So I've got a, quite a bit of sanding to do. I'm just going to use some black gesso to touch up the sides I've sanded. And I, there's a few sort of marks I don't want. So I'm using the black gesso because it is very dense and you shouldn't see it when the clear resin goes over the top. Before I put the final layer of resin over my work, I'm going to spray the surface with this archival gloss, so this will help with the UV light, protect the colours and the pigments, and it also gives a bit of a tooth for the final layer of resin. I'm ready for my final layer of resin. Now I put, I built a, a dam wall with some uh, cloth tape and wrapped it all. I just wrapped it all around, left a bit so I can pull it off easily. And make sure your work is level. Okay, I've mixed mixed my resin up, so I've got uh, 500ml of the resin and 500ml of the hardener. And I always mix with a mask on because when you're mis mixing, this is art resin, there's little tiny bubbles that come off and you should wear a